Hi everyone, Adam Zeiss here for CrackBerry.com. I'm gonna do a quick A to Z look at the Kindle app for BlackBerry smartphones. Fire up the application, see it loads up super quick. Anything that you already have purchased is gonna show up here in your home screen. We can see I have one book purchased already. We click on the book itself, it brings you right in. Um, this is the main page layout view. We see that we have the text, book title, and down the bottom there's a little progress indicator. It's got your location and the total pages. Um, to toggle that, you can hit the F key and it puts you into full screen view. If we hit space bar, it goes through page by page. And consequently, you can use the, uh, the trackpad or the trackball to scroll forward and backward. Um, not really a whole lot of options when you're in the book itself. It doesn't really need to be. Um, we have add bookmark. You can bookmark um, one or more pages. We have go to. lets you select a location in the book. <clears throat> so you can go to a specific spot. We have our text size. You can do it anywhere from super small, which is almost impossible to read, up to a big juicy text, which puts a, not a whole lot on the page, so it actually uh, lets you see it a little better. This is a bold 9700. It would obviously look better on uh, a storm screen, but I don't mind the screen. A lot of people say that the screen's too small to read on, but I think once you get into it and you're just reading along, you really kind of ignore the screen size itself. Um, then we have sync to furthest location. This brings you to the furthest red spot in the book. So if you're using another device, it'll sync up and bring you to the spot you read furthest. And here we have our full screen on or off. Quick little page for the uh, keyboard shortcut help. Just shows you how to go to the next page, full screen, home screen, archived items, anything like that. Um, the one option that is missing in here that is on the, uh, the iPhone app. The only option here we have is uh, the black text on the white background. There's no sepia or anything like that. So it does make it kind of hard on the eyes if you read for any length of time, but hopefully they'll drop that in in a future update. If we go back to the home screen here, we can see our other things we have um, is archived items here. This is where if you have anything that is purchased, you can remove it from the device. It'll put it into your archived items. So you'll be able to draw it back up later. So see we have one book here. Um, if you click on that, it'll download it. So this is anything that has previously been purchased. So it's all stored in one easy spot. So you don't have to leave it on the device to take up space. So you can only, you know, have a couple books on there and not have to worry about anything stealing any memory or anything like that. Um, in our menu options here on the main screen, we have remove item. This will put um, the highlighted book into the archived items and remove it from the device. Sync and check items. This syncs up with your account. Um, the cool thing is that. You don't have to put in any device ID or anything like that um, in the app or on Amazon. Once you log in on here, anything on your account through Amazon that you purchased is going to show up on the device right away, which is very cool. Uh, we have sort books by. This will just sort your list. We have most recent titles, or most recent first title and author. So depending on how you like your sort order, I really only like to have one book at a time. I don't really read more than that, so it works out very well. Um, and then we have our archived items, which is the same as the other menu option. And we have Shopping Kindle Store, which is pretty much the uh, meat and potatoes of the Kindle app. We have our different categories here. You can scroll through. Let's see if we jump into a category. We'll check out the New York Times bestsellers. Shows you a whole list. Gives you the title, author, and the price. And if we jump into a title, that's going to bring up all the details. Again, it shows you the author, uh, the Kindle price, a little description, customer reviews. We have our buy now with one click um, that you'll have to set up through your Amazon account. So you have to make sure you have your credit card info um, and all that set up through your account. If you don't, then it's actually going to give you an error and it won't let you purchase any books. Um, even if they're free, it won't let you download anything. And we also have try a sample. Um, we jump back out here. We also have um, the search feature. So we can go ahead and search for any book. We'll look up Robin Hood. And it's going to pull up a whole list. See, we have one up top here, which is a free one, which are probably the best books that Amazon has. Um, so again, it shows you all the details and everything. So we go ahead and click Buy Now with one click. It's going to show order in progress. And it doesn't take as long as you would think. Um, and it's just going to give you a little confirmation. It'll let you continue shopping. Um, you have the option to cancel the order or anything like that. And then see down the bottom, it's going to show you that it's downloading. Um, so once that shows up, it's going to pop it right out into our main screen here. We can see that it's downloading to home. So it's really quick right after you purchase it. It's going to show up and then we can go ahead and jump into the book. You can fire away and start reading. That's really all there is to that. Um, not much else in here. We have the info screen. You can sign out. It's got the keyboard shortcuts again. 
a couple of browser links that'll bring you to help, uh, feedback, support, anything like that. Um, so that's really all there is to it. That is the Kindle app for BlackBerry smartphones, and it is available at Amazon.com.